ammo we have because uh, we don't have a lot of it so i do think we need to be very wise in our expenditure of it at this point in the game hopefully later we'll have like i said a larger reserve of arrows so we won't have to be too concerned and we can just grab a couple stacks of arrow every, every um couple stacks of arrows to go with our bow and at that point we shouldn't really be worried about um how much ammo we have because it's pretty hard to use that many arrows um, in a legitimate sense when you're actually aiming each shot carefully and not just spamming it so, um, I don't think we'll need a ridiculous, uh, reminds me, I do need to actually eat these golden apples here, I'll eat both of them, just because it'll get my hunger, um, all the way back up and my health, uh, presumably all the way back up with the assistance of the hunger regeneration, but, um, I don't foresee us needing a ridiculous amount of blocks to reach that cave, um, to, on that forested island, uh, skyland, I have to, like, catch myself every time I want to say island, it's a skyland, because it's floating, but, uh, you know, fuck gravity, whatever, I guess. But I don't think we'll need a ridiculous amount of blocks to actually get over to that cave. It is pretty, it is relatively close, um, but granted, we are building a three wide or two and a half, I don't know, whatever. We're doing that diagonal sort of bridge. So, you know, it does require more than just one block, you know, to travel one block of distance towards the island. So we'll, we'll grab quite a few here. But, I mean, about a stack and a half. That looks, you know, that seems reasonable to me. So, and we actually are going to continue to light this island up as we spend, fuck me. Um, hmm. Fuck. Yes, I did just try to cheat. Um, I really didn't want to lose all of that after we had um, mined all that, but uh, to no avail. I mean, I, I suppose we we got what we deserved in that instance. Uh, the the only thing that I'm truly concerned about losing at that point, not the diamonds, obviously we have plenty of more diamonds here, but um, the bow was a very large asset that we did actually lose, which is a little bit unfortunate, and we also did manage to lose quite a bit of that cobblestone that we had mined, which was a little bit of a time investment that we lost there. Um, also, there was the zombie flesh that we lost. That was also something that I wasn't really happy about losing, mainly because... Um, it took a while to accrue that much uh, zombie flesh just because of, uh, you know, the the amount of zombies we had to kill to actually get that. And I know we took a, um, a little bit of it from our chest here at home, but still, it's an annoyance that we're going to have to replace that. And that bow, um, it really does make me sore to lose that bow. I'm not going to lie. Um, but... Uh, nonetheless, uh, we must carry on. So I think I'll grab, you know, the other half of my stack. And like I said, we are definitely behind on far as far as things. Are. I mean, yeah, it's like, oh, you have a stack of coal. You know, like that's it's quite a bit. You know, it's a reasonable amount of coal. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just not as um, not as much as I'd like to have at this point in the game. And I, uh, I don't know. But I'm gonna pause this recording. I'll be back in a second. All right, had something I had to take care of uh, for a couple seconds there, but I am back nonetheless. Take another sip of Mountain Dew here. Ah, delicious. Anyways, um, like I said, I'm a little sore about losing um, that bow, but in the end, what can you do? Well, I guess in the end you could complain about it, but that's not really going to solve anything. Or you could cheat and try and get one back, but. Uh, even though I did try to do that, uh, cheat and change my game mode, um, I regret trying to do that. I realize that I should probably keep this uh, series faithful to the um, faithful to the Minecraft world, where you know, in which creative really isn't an option for survival and uh, attempting to make your way in the world of Minecraft without any um, divine assistance. I guess you could kind of kindly put it. But like I said, diamonds. Um, there's a plethora of them. <laughs> available on this island as you can see and um, back back at home we had plenty of diamonds to make uh, new equipment for ourselves so that really wasn't an issue I guess it was just a little bit annoying um, I think I think I could honestly blame that on my inherent uh, sort of Minecraft self where losing any sort of diamond just kind of 
makes you cringe a little bit because they are so rare in um, the legitimate Minecraft world. But I think we should be able to just uh, rel relatively quick quickly replace our uh, supply of blocks that we were going to use to uh, replace or not replace, sorry, uh, build the staircase. So I think we'll just uh, do that over here quick. And I I felt pretty comfortable with a stack and a half last time. Uh, we'll try and replicate that again here, just a stack and a half of these mossy cobblestone blocks. Uh, because they are blast resistant, which is quite convenient when it comes to creepers and other hostiles trying to destroy the blocks. Indeed. Well, yo-ho, uh, yo-ho, heave-ho, mining blocks and such. Luckily for us though we do have a diamond pick and we're not trying to do this with like a stone pick or something. <laughs> that would be that would be most unfortunate uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it'd be quite unfortunate. And one thing that I actually did just think about is we really do not have a, a large resource available to us of iron. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, I just noticed that. And I mean it's potentially dangerous due to the fact that if you don't have iron uh, you are no longer capable of mining like diamonds or anything like that, but because we do have that gap and we do have quite a few diamonds, I'm not really too concerned about it. But it would be nice to have like a backup supply of iron. It's nice to be able to make, you know, say some iron armor if you really didn't want to invest the diamonds in it, or you know, you know what I mean. It's it's used for other things like you know, like minecart tracks, buckets, that sort of thing. Uh, shears, that's what you also need. Um, and I do have that sheep back at the farm, so. Uh, one, one day I will need to shear him. If I haven't made a pair already, I will need to actually go out and hunt for some iron so I can craft shears with which to shear him. So, um, just something to be thinking about, I guess, at this point. Uh, thinking towards the future and what that entails. Hopefully, uh, we can actually manage to uh, complete our staircase here and uh, go take a peek inside that other treasure hut. And that is a very large vein of di This is where I died before, isn't it? Yes, it is. I should probably block that off so that I don't replicate that again because that was most unfortunate and, and uh, quite aggravating, to be honest with you. So, in my best interest, I'm going to block that off. And, like I said, I am ogling that uh, giant vein of diamonds over there. That's something that's intriguing me because, um, like I said... Minecraft, diamonds, so on and so forth. Um, Alright. Uh, Alright, um, I guess we'll, we'll go a little... Oops. We'll go a little bit this way. And is it... Wow, it is already turning night again, which seems quite um, illegitimate, but I, I guess... I guess the, the sun's gonna do what the sun's gonna do. I can't really change that unless I had a... Uh, time set command, which I don't because uh, the cheats aren't turned on in this world, which is most... Well, I, I guess it's not really unfortunate because it does prevent me from cheating like I did attempt to do, which is... and I mean, yeah, I guess like my cheating, you know, had the best intentions because I wanted to save time, you know, like I wanted to make sure that, you know, we weren't wasting time trying to get resources that I had managed to, you know, mess up and lose, but... I think it's in the better interest that I don't have the ability to cheat because it'll just be that assistance in trying, you know, keeping the game pure. Pure. Oh, you motherfucker. And speaking of iron, oh, and speaking of creepers too, I guess, but um, speaking of iron, there actually is some iron right there for us, which is pretty nice. And a creeper just waiting me, wait, waiting for me to complete this path so he can jump on onto the, uh, jump onto this bridge here and uh, try and wreck our day. All right, and uh, I'll be interested to see how large that vein of iron is, honestly. And well, I messed that up a little bit, that's for sure. And I'm going to widen this over to the uh, up to the standard uh, three block wide path I do like to build. And I do hear some skeletons, but uh, I'm just going to take the risk to run back here quick and um, light this up. That way, when we uh, attempt the return journey, yep, and speaking of, you know, like, replenishing our diamond supply, so on and so forth. I mean, like I said, it was just annoying, I guess, as a Minecrafter to see 19 diamonds to, uh, to fall to their doom. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, th this looks like a, si a reasonably sizable vein of iron, which is, at least in my opinion, a really good thing for us, even though we do have this um, large amount of diamond. Uh, just because it's one of those basic Minecraft things that uh, you're going to need eventually, no matter what. Because I mean, I mean, it just is. As far as especially iron armor goes, or especially um, in the way of 
buckets and shears because there's no other material in the game that you can make those out of. So I'm gathering all this iron here in the hopes that we can actually find the treasure hut right away and oh, careful here. In hopes that we can actually find the treasure hut right away and stash this away in the chest. That way we don't have to run the risk of uh, losing it to a, a falling somewhere or to, you know, dying at some point and not being able to make it back before it uh, despawns on us. But I believe we're just going to go ahead and try and make a staircase here up to the surface of the skyland here. Uh, break through into a nicely wooded area if my map is uh, not misinforming me, which hopefully it isn't because then there might not be a treasure hut on this island. And uh, we're, we are definitely hoping that there is one on this island. So uh, we'll continue to light the way up here. And uh, if I do remember correctly, it was a layer of dirt on top of a layer of the... Uh, uh, oh, look at that. On top, a layer, on top of a layer of the uh, mossy cobblestone. So the fact that I saw some mossy cobblestone up there uh, makes, me, makes me comfortable. It makes me think, all right, we're almost there. And we'll just kind of make this path um, leading up there out of mossy cobblestone. Make it obvious um, what the direction is or how to get up to our, um, how to get up to the surface, as it were. All right, um, head on up over this way. And, um, well, actually, uh, so, uh, and I was thinking to myself, well, why am I really doing this if I'm the only, you know, going to be the only one ever to see this world? Why do I need to make, you know, directions to a path I'm creating myself? Because I will, you know, obviously know where it's at. But um, I'm hoping to, I don't know if there actually are any recorded episodes that I have uploaded of uh, Brandon and I playing this together. I know we did take a look at the map together at some point. Uh, we just kind of flipped into creative mode and, you know, flew around, you know, checked things out, see... Just, you know, to get a general overview, uh, the lay of the land, um, as I guess you could say. So, um, he, uh, I hope, uh, he's busy as am I, but hopefully he'll make a return to the series. And I am going to leave you guys in suspense because I actually have something to do at this point in time. So, um, next time on Skylands with the Unknown Variable, will we find the treasure hut? Stay tuned to find out. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.